Hundreds of employees have decided to leave the dysfunctional social network after Elon Musk called on employees to commit to a new hardcore work environment. No, Twitter isn't dead this morning. Disdain ripped Twitter trending on social networks last night. But its future has been more turbulent than at any point since Elon Musk bought it three weeks ago, with many employees choosing to leave rather than agree to the billionaire's Pledge of Allegiance. It looks like you are expand your platform. The recently wasted Twitter now lacks the ability to maintain mission-critical systems, monitor content on its platform, remain compliant with regulatory agreements, and, frankly, all while saddled with enormous debt. It faces some issues, such as its ability to maintain chaos. Hundreds of workers have settled, some before 5 p.m. The Eastern Pledge period has come into effect. Obvious sentiment. It's better to collect three months severance pay than to work for a boss who has demanded overtime and laid off dozens of employees. Blind, an anonymous social network for techies, a survey of about 250 employees at Twitter found that about three quarters were in favor of leaving Twitter. As with the company, when it laid off half of its employees, Twitter closed its offices until Monday and disabled access to employee badges. Musk appears to have underestimated how many people will retire. He may have seen his ultimatum as a way to get rid of disgruntled employees and cut costs, but Twitter management said Thursday that key employees should stay. I spent a lot of time trying to persuade him. Musk also reversed the ban on remote work. At least somewhat. He told Stoff on Thursday he could work remotely as long as his manager proved he was making an outstanding contribution. The proclamation came after a former employee sued the company over Musk's ban on remote work claiming it discriminated against people with disabilities. The resignation didn't cloud his Musk jokes on Twitter. He tweeted, Twitter usage is at an all-time high lol, and posted a few memes about the confusion. But many of Twitter's problems are no laughing matter. Those who left included members of the trust and public safety team and critical engineering teams. Code and operational mistakes are now deadly, said the former Washington Post engineer. Meanwhile, Seven Democratic senators on Thursday called out the FTC to investigate Twitter's compliance with the Consumer Privacy Agreement of 2011. The turmoil has resulted in a number of advertisers halting campaigns on the platform since Musk's acquisition, as well as $13 billion in loans to fund his acquisition, resulting in $1 billion in interest each year, is unlikely to com banks expecting to be paid.